Welcome guys to another video from Freemus JD. Obviously that's me. And um I'll be having a great day. And I just wanna share some garage band stuff. Oh and this video is not being edited, so it's just completely raw um footage from my iPad. If you're wondering what this iPad is model by the way, it's a space grey um iPad 8th gen from 2020, because that's when I bought it. Uh, 128 gigs of storage and basically GarageBand runs really well of course anyway um, I just want to explain some some tips maybe some like um, just some like little like uh, what do you call them features that I use in my GarageBand projects so some of my latest songs are Lightning up there and Simplistic Drums. Let me get my Apple Pencil out. Yeah, that's smooth, bro. I'll tell you it's an Apple Pencil because I can scribble. New, no, that's really nice. Anyway. Um, and they are really good songs. I love my Lightning song because I have I think I feel like I've really made it 80s style if I go into it. It's really got those, alrighty, yeah, snare, kick, hi-hat, and claps. They got the 80s power pop ones, the Apple Loops, you can get them from free. Then we got these progressive pop keys, which sound really 80s as, as well. You got classic 80s synth, some synth, 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 synth. You got a violin, which is only appears at the end. Um... It seems like this is boo synth, but I don't think it does. <laughs> boo synth. That sounds really nice, actually. No, no, no. It doesn't really sound very nice, does it? And you got some 80s synth FX riser and more blah, 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 like that. So I actually have lots of Apple loops in here, although I don't have a whole heap of instruments. And so basically, this song I made, I was making around in February... Then I completely forgot about it, stopped it. Now I'm starting it again. And I finished it, obviously it's uploading my channel right now. And some tips I like to use is if we go into the plush icon, usually you might just have section A, which has a million bars because you have a long song, I don't know. But I have it split up into different sections so that I can I know which place I'm working on. I usually just keep it on all sections, but let's just say I set it to section B and then got out of it. I only work on section B. Now I can pull to go to section A, pull to go to section B. I just usually keep it on all sections because it just looks really nice. But then also, you know what you can do? You can select a section, duplicate it, and now it's section N. Obviously, I don't want that to happen. No, no, good. Um, some other uh, things that I use is... I, I usually make two types of songs. One, my first type of song that I make is is an example is an example is simplistic drums. So basically I introduce some instruments at the start. So you just got like the you got the, the drums at the start and then you get the synth and then you get the the the, the sync lead and then you get the, the bass and then some instruments fade away because I like making it do that and then it comes back again and then there's some more drums at this place and blah 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 and then at the end you know they all just like disappear like they all like start fading away and that is a oh god that is a type of song I used to always make that when I was first making YouTube videos on my old Art Echo channel, I always used to make songs like this, like the instruments would come, so one by one, so there's the modern AOA and then blah, blah, and then they would just fade at the end, and I'd make some cool little cuts in the middle of, in the, in, the, uh, in during the songs. And yeah, that is what I call, it's really good, but my favorite and one that's a little bit more advanced is actually making a song. That's the style of an actual song if it had vocals. Now, I don't include vocals in my songs 
I could become a singer if I want to, but like really don't really need it. I've got some like synth vox and those type of vocals, but you know, they're just Apple loops. And what I mean by an actual song is that they have a, an intro, then then I have a little bit of a different song. They have a verse one, like this is meant to be a, a first verse, of a, but it just doesn't have vocals. And then you get the chorus, and then the little drop, and then the little drop bit after the chorus. Then the second verse, I usually like making the second verse. Oh no, this is not the second verse, oops. So I, I, I got here, I've got the intro, that's the intro. And then basically what I like to include is, I like to include actually that other, that this verse, this chorus right here, that's actually my second chorus because this chorus right here, that's like my first chorus and I like including it before the verse just to start off the song nicely. After the intro though, the intro introduces the instruments. Then I just like just 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 brushing off with a clean start with the with the chorus after, and then so then I have that, so then they have that little drop. They don't have any kick or snare. The nice pop key, so that's how you know for the chorus. Yeah. And then, then you hear like the kick and the snare comes in the clap. And then when everything disappears, including the hi hat, it's just and and the pop keys, it's just basically like a, the drop, the 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 post chorus drop. And then the first verse, and I got some cool bits in it. Like, see, this there. And then it just gets back in. I love it. Uh, I think you should like it too. And then this is like the verse drop. Now, on the first chorus, um, it started off with no kick or snare, but because we're already getting into the song, like the first verse, if there was vocals, it's already told the story, it's already started the story, because we're already getting to the song, we want to get some nice, just lift up the mood, we, I start off the chorus with all the instruments, including kick and snare, so it just sounds like that. and then there's your usual And also with that with that drop there, I keep the pop keys. Just and then there's the part the, the post chorus which has the crazy synths. This is the post chorus after the chorus. I usually yeah, I obviously in include late in the song. So if it was like a normal song sequence, like there's an intro, verse one, and then there's the chorus one. While with mine the chorus and the verse is swapped around. There's the chorus one, and then it goes straight into the second verse. So there's no, there's none of the post choruses until the second chorus. Now, actually, if you've noticed, I haven't included any pre choruses in here. Maybe for next song, I'll include some pre choruses because they sound nice too. But I just like it. Sometimes I like getting straight into the chorus. So that's the chorus. And in the middle of it, I include some, some chorus. And the, and the first post chorus, because obviously then there's like a drop after, and there has to be like, uh, then there's like a drop after, and there's, I can't speak, there's a drop after, and then usually there's the third chorus, oh maybe there's just, there's like a drop, and then there's just like a, a, a final like short verse. And then there's the chorus, and and then there's the the post chorus, but it's more enhanced and longer. And then actually, normal songs are like my song is a bit different because the verses are a little bit uh, squaggled around. So I have my intro. This is the full song. Actually, I should say this at the end. I'll say this in. This is the second verse because we haven't introduced the second verse yet. <laughs> it's, it's a bit of a, in a strange position, but still we haven't introduced it. So, and the second verse is half shorter than the first one. And there's the, the drop. Now this is where I include a, the FX because it's after that that post chorus, 
And I want to make that third chorus... I always want to make the third chorus just sound like... Just like... It's just brushing in. It's just like the very start. Like... Literally, there's just... The FX riser. Except it's in reverse. The pop keys and the, the synth. It's just... That's it. No clap. No hi-hat. No snare. No kick. None of that. It's just... Just, just, just... We're starting all over again. We're just... Just coming back. This is kind of like... If I position my... My sequence of the song in a different way, then I'd probably have this third chorus bit after the 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 post chorus. So this is kind of a the chorus drop. It starts really long. Just yeah, you know, just 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 you just just on the way, just just taking it. <laughs> oh, this is the bit I love. So then. You come into this bit here. You got those kicks. And then suddenly all the all the instruments come in. You got like the So it's it goes normal like boo at the start. And then during the middle of it you get the boom. Boom. Dun dun ch dun 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 ch <laughs> crazy post chorus comes guys there's no bridge in this because basically that start of the chorus was kind of like the bridge and the verse 2 made up of it as well there's no verse 3 of course because it's a and there's this this is like the this is the break in between the chorus and the post chorus and then it just smashes into the post chorus get off the, the box at the start and it's twice as long and then you get the violin i've actually used this, this violin in one of my older songs on my art echo channel just so this is where it starts to go this is where it starts to end so this is like this is still the post chorus, but it's kind of transitioning into like the outro. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I had to go on with the box of the strings. And the synths go. And that, and that goes for two times. And then. And then this. And then the strings is here. It's just synths. Clap. and that's just sort of basically the whole song of mine so i hope you really liked it you, you might have come here from my original view of this lightning because i linked it but what i just want to say is you probably been waiting for this about okay the sequence the structure so i've got the intro at the start the intro only appears just as an intro just completely start the song you hear all the instruments and then there's the first chorus the first chorus is just calm just just getting ready for the story of the song you know and then we get the chorus drop and then it just goes into the first verse the first verse is a great length like 16 bars long and you get the storytelling of the bleh, and then you get some drops in the verse and bleh. and then then there's the drop at the end of the verse and then and then it goes into the more energetic type chorus, like this. So it goes, it, it goes into that chorus, except with all the instruments. So like this is the second chorus. So it just, it's you. You've already been energized. You you've already been a little bit energized by the first verse, and it's just and it's just energizing you even more. You get you're getting into the mood, mate. You, you're doing it anyway. Um, and then there's the chorus drop. And then we get our first taste of the post chorus. Because obviously the post chorus story just kicks in at the second chorus. Like that. And then. And the post chorus is only eight bars long. So, yep. And then, strangely enough, it might sound a bit strange, but after the post chorus, you get the second verse. Then sometimes you might. 
you would usually get like the bridge or something or the drop sometimes you know even a third verse if the song's long pretty long like long songs as songs that i that wait like like songs that are a bit long are songs that are called that that are f songs that let me repeat songs that i call um that are starting to get long a song that are over four minutes over four minutes the songs can start to feel long like an a the average song length to me is around three minutes to three minutes 30 any lower than three minutes is our short songs to me lower than two minutes are like super short songs they're probably like they're, they're the baby shark category um you probably know what i mean uh and then songs over five minutes are what i call pretty long like actual long songs so like anything over that if it's over six minutes then that's what i call i don't think there's any new songs nowadays that are over six minutes you might hear some or close to six minute songs and then most probably gonna be like songs back from like the 70s and the 80s especially in the 70s they like to make songs really long some of the songs were pretty short like for example 80s never gonna give you up that was more late 80s though though but that was like three minute 30 that's just average song time to me and yeah kind of like that this song i'm pretty sure was four minutes yeah this is this is no this is three minute 55 so it's just it's over it's 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 just it's what i call it's in between average and high and and long songs so it's what i call above average the length a little bit above average yeah so close to longer but like yeah anyway getting back to the song so then i have that that verse two and the verse two is half the length of the verse one because we've just introduced the story in the first verse we energizing it with the chorus smashing in the post chorus and we're kind of continuing the story and then just making it lead into the rest of the song at the end of it so so uh we don't need much of a long verse exactly and then we get that that stripped down twice as long chorus but backwards and there's like absolutely no instruments and then the instruments kick in with the kick first so like this the kick. Um, and, and it really gets energizing and then the riser the synth riser it's coming and then it's like the drop the media drop you're just like so you're, you, you're feeling like oh my god the, the post score is just gonna come back and then you're like oh my god it's energizing me oh my god i feel so warm oh wait 40 degrees something that that was a really um what would you call it uh strange clap i just did there i tried to do a clap at the start but it failed and then i tried doing it again and you know i'm really t I'm a bit tired and you know so i can't really do a massive loud clap like what dank pods does <laughs> um and then it just kicks in with that post chorus the post chorus goes for the end it starts fading out like my other songs and then you know you just get the fade out so guys i hope you like this video that, that that's it guys truly i i've just been explaining my song simplistic drums i can explain but like it's not an actual like structure that i can explain like lightning so i hope you like this guys um uh give this for you a good thumbs up at least if you haven't seen my my garage band videos um you should go watch them because i i wanted this this video to be designed for that you have watched one of my garage band videos first more more lightning probably 
because that that's what I was explaining most in this video. And then you watch this video, so go watch those if you really haven't. They're really good. You'll understand what I'm talking about in the songs more, because then you can listen to the full song. And just have a great day, guys. Um, and I'll see you next time, guys. Good after. Bye. 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 Bye.